know it's spring when all the little birdies are out <laughs> looking for bugs and stuff in the grass. They're so cute. I like them. So my breakfast this morning is my organic muesli with my cocoa raw cacao powder and the coconut milk that I love so much. And I'm kind of running low on food. Um, I have to go grocery shopping so for some nice plant-based foods. Yay! So today and tomorrow are going to be a little limited. i got to finish up and try and scrounge for uh, plant-based foods. And then I'll go shopping on Thursday and show you all my goodies. Today's a new day. On my way to my parents' house, and hopefully I'm in focus. I don't honestly know if I am or not. I'm actually gonna switch sides. Um, Yeah, so it is a gorgeous day today. I just went to the post office because I thought my, here's my face. I thought my Fashion Nova order would be in, but it is not. So that kind of sucks, but hopefully, he's whining because he's excited. Hopefully, Hopefully it will be in shortly. And um, I was looking, I found a new website that I'm like obsessed with and it's called, um, oh my God, what's it called? Wow, brain fart. Um, oh my God, I can't even remember. I'll have to show you when I get home, but I like loved everything. I had like 20 things in my cart because my birthday's coming up in like two weeks. Um, so I'm going to get money for my birthday and um, I'm gonna buy some clothes because why not and um, it's like Lime Lush I think it's called Lime Lush does that sound right Lime Lush or something like that and they had like gorgeous gorgeous stuff like I was like you know just obsessed with like literally everything that they had so um, yeah we gon' get some new stuff for my birthday, and I'm excited. This camera is super heavy to hold. Honest to God, it's so hard to um, to vlog with this camera. Like, it's just, it's not even funny. So, I have my, um, oh, my leg. I have my Batman t-shirt, or Superman t-shirt on today, and just some leggings and my Under Armour shoes, and I just have my hair in a side braid because it's super healthy for it, and I find that when I do this, and put coconut oil in my hair, it's like a hell of a lot healthier. So that's what we're doing. It's um, it's only about 13, 14 degrees Celsius today, but it is a beautiful day. So um, I'm just going to my parents' house. My mom's working today, but my dad is home, and we're gonna have lunch, and I'm gonna <laughs> throw the Frisbee around for my dog because he needs some exercise. So that's what I'm doing right now show you guys I'll just take this off I should like like show you my makeup so um, I had an Urban Decay palette um, it was like it's got like eyeshadows and bronzer and blush and stuff I forget what it's called I think it's like the, just the dookie shush I think it's just like the naked full I don't know it's some sort of naked palette but so I just went super neutral today and I think it's really pretty. And then on my lips I have that um, L'Oreal, it's like their new like matte glosses and I'm obsessed with them. And I love this color. This is like the perfect nude. I don't like pinky nudes. I feel like they make me look dead. But this kind of nude, I mean I really like. It just, it just looks so good. And it's nice and warm and yeah, it's pretty bad. Anyways, I'm almost there so I'm going to go show you the drive. So pretty out. And I'll see you later. So ignore my hair, but I'm at my parents' house and I'm cooking up, not cooking. I'm fixing myself some lunch. So I found some strawberries and this is some uh, maple balsamic dressing. Let me just fix the focusing there. There we go. 
here on my camera. And then some potatoes and an avocado. So I'm gonna put an avocado with the strawberries and some potatoes and this balsamic dressing. So that should be good and healthy and plant-based. So it is now 2.30 and I'm going to have, these are my favorite protein bars. Obviously you guys know I've been eating them for a long time. They're 70% organic and I get like the big bulk package um, from Costco. And this one is, um, it comes with three flavors and this one's the crunchy peanut butter. Um, they are organic, 70% uh, organic and it, uh, it is vegan. Um, and they're really, really yummy. And they've got, just try and open this up here. They have 250 calories, six fat, um, how much protein? 10 protein, 41 carbs. So gonna have that little snack. Hey guys, so I just wanted to let you know that, um, so kind of this time around with um, taking my vegan plant-based lifestyle, I want to take it um, further. So every um, makeup purchase or beauty product or um, face cream and stuff like that, um, I'm going to, from now on, if I run out of like foundation or cream or anything, it's going to be cruelty free. Um, I'm obviously not going to just go out and buy all new makeup and all new, um, you know, I have a full bottle of body lotion that I don't know if Dr. or not, it's not Dr. Brand. I don't know if the, um, it's Dr. something, that cocoa butter. I don't know if it's cruelty free or not, but I have like a whole one of that. So I'm not like going to go out and like, you know, rebuy everything because that would cost me like hundreds of dollars and I just, I can't do that. So, um, when I do my makeup, I'm still like going to use products that, um, may not be cruelty free but from here on out like if I need a new foundation or whatever I will buy cruelty free and um, I found um, there's a website um, cruelty free kitten I think her name is and um, she recommended a website called iherb.com and they have Neutrogena products on there and they ship worldwide and I know Neutrogena is cruelty free and um, I really have always wanted to try their stuff but we don't get it in Canada so I'm thinking next I'll try their foundation and um, like I love high-end makeup too so I'm gonna get more like I wear a lot of Urban Decay and stuff like that so I'll just buy like Urban Decay. Um, Essence is cruelty free and I have a lot of Essence stuff. Um, Physicians Formula is cruelty free and then there's Flower Beauty at Walmart so I mean there's lots of options for me so um, yeah like I said I'm not going to just run out and you know restock everything cruelty free but from here on out I won't put my money towards um, cruelty free or products that test on animals and stuff like that so so exciting so yeah I um I found these nail polishes so I'm gonna do my nails tonight I brought them with me when I went to Hawaii and I guess I totally forgot about them I just found them in my old um little bag that I have and uh I like these ones these are from the brand Quo and they're cute because they're little like they have a thin brush so you can like do designs and stuff and I love this color from China Glaze. It's called Shocking Pink. So I might do that with my nails and my toes, and then I'll do like a little design. I have a white, a pink, and a black. I busted out the bikini to see how it was fitting, and uh, it actually fits super, super. This is not in focus. Whoop! There we go. It actually fits like super, super well. So I'm really happy with that, and. Um, I typically just buy my bikinis from Walmart because they're like 10 or $15. I think that one was 8 And like I'm not opposed to like Victoria's Secret and other bikini companies and stuff. But it's like why pay like 90 plus or 80 plus dollars for such a little material. Like I feel good in a string bikini. It's $8. I feel better in that than I do my expensive Victoria's Secret ones. Sorry, I'll flip you around. And that's the thing too, men don't care. You think a guy is going to notice if you're wearing a $100 bathing suit or like an $8 bathing suit? They don't. They just want to see girls in bathing suits. <laughs> like if Colin doesn't care, he's like, as long as you're in a bikini, I don't care. So um, this is the one that I had from last year. And it's just like a neon um, peach 
color and I love string bikinis I just feel the best in them so that's really cute and it had padding so I want to get like a hot pink and like a yellow maybe a green a black all that stuff and oh I also found this nail polish sorry for the mess here I have to clean up this I got in Hawaii and it was called Island Girl and it's a Diamond Head Breeze and Diamond Head is the big mountain that's in um, Hawaii and Honolulu so it's so pretty I love that color and I just went to the store and I picked up some it's called splat it's bleach and I know um, I did go and get my hair done excuse me probably like I don't know six six weeks ago now oh bicep um yeah but six weeks ago now but um I didn't have money this like Every other paycheck is a huge one for me, like um, in terms of bills, like one paycheck I'll have lots of extra money and that's when like I'll buy stuff I need or put it towards the wedding or whatever. Then the paycheck after, it's like everything comes out. My cell phone bill, our satellite, our internet, my car insurance, my, uh, my car payment comes out every pay, but um, it's just like always the big one. So this is the big one and I have a little bit left over, but not enough to get my hair done. Um, and I was just like, I don't know, I don't want to pay somebody else to do it. And the only time that I got into trouble last time was when I bleached my entire head, which I'm not doing now. I'm just doing foils. So I did the foils in the front and I just have to do a little bit in the back and I'll probably go back to a salon. It's just, this is just kind of a quick in between salon kind of thing. Like if you don't have the money or you just want something quick, that's what I do. I'm not going to do a video or anything on it, but um, I just watched Elle Bangs, her old video of like how to highlight your hair at home in between salon sessions. So I just kind of follow that and it works. So I'm going to do that now and I have laundry to do. Oh, side note, we have a mouse. I just noticed him the other night he comes up and like a, there's like a little hole right there and he just popped his head up the other day and I was like, oh my God. And then he went back down. Um, he, mice can't live like in the new part of our home because this is all like a super thick insulation that they just can't work through. But the upstairs is, hasn't been finished and the downstairs um, hasn't been finished. So he's kind of living like I think in the basement primarily, then he'll pop his head up here, but then he usually goes back down. So we have a little friend. So there's that. And yeah. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention too about going back to plant-based lifestyle. And this is going to get a little personal, but I feel like y'all are my friends, so I can just say it. Um, one of the other health issues of eating meat and dairy, I noticed since I stopped being vegan, and I know this is TMI, but whatever. I was like hardly going to the washroom. Like pee, yes, but the other thing, barely. Like maybe, maybe once a day, if that, like maybe. And um, I mean, I know they're not necessarily, they weren't necessarily like healthy poops, you know what I mean? But um, even though this is only day one, um, and when I was vegan, I mean, if, if you're vegan, you know, you go at least like two or three times a day and that's actually what's healthy you're you're supposed to biologically you are supposed to poop like two or three times a day like that's just how it is and if you're not that's a sure heck sign that something isn't right and uh, or um, what you're eating is not agreeing with your body so that's another indication if you're eating meat and dairy and you're only going like once a day and it's like not healthy then you need to switch over because that's an issue <laughs> um, but yeah being vegan, you definitely don't have a problem in that department. So healthier colon is always a good thing. I love that I can share this with you guys, by the way. And um, I also wanted to thank all of you who wrote a really sweet comment on my video. That video was not very easy for me to post because obviously I'm human and it's not easy to admit when you've been wrong or be vulnerable and be 100% honest. And um, it's, it's just not easy. And um, the amount of love and support I got back was incredible and like it just made me so happy and I feel so good about my decision and just knowing that you guys are like, like I literally think of you guys as my friends. Like I'm like, I have like 11,000 or however many subscribers I have. I'm like, Colin, they're like legit my friends. Like I'm like, oh, I told them this today and this today and he's just like, you told who? And I'm like, oh, my subscribers. And he's like, oh, okay. Like I literally talk about you guys like you are my friends. Um, so yeah, it just meant so much to me and knowing that I have all of your support and that much support, I, like I know I can do it now. Do you know what I mean? Like 
I, I know I can do it. I mean, how can I not with all the love I got? So thank you guys. And yeah, I'm going to do my hair now. I'm standing really weird. Like, <laughs> I don't know why, but can you see? I'm like leaning back. I'm like, <laughs> like what the hell? I have terrible posture. I have to, um, I should go to a chiropractor because my back is brutal. I have my mom's back. And, um, I just, I always have had kind of back issues and I just, I typically like I'll stand with my pelvis more out like this way, like forward and my shoulders forward. So I need to like push out my butt and put my shoulders back cause that's more proper. feels a little awkward, but I feel like I'll eventually get there. But anyways, I'm rambling cause I'm in a talky mood. So I'm going to do my hair and I'll see you guys later. So it is 4.52 and I'm not quite ready for dinner yet, so I just have three Rivita crackers. These are the um, cranberry ones and I love them. And I just have half of, hold on Dookie, half of an avocado spread on there and some pink Himalayan salt. So that's going to be my snack. So I decided that I want to have um, pizza for supper. So I just have this flat out multi-grain with flax bread. Um, I do prefer Ezekiel bread, um, but like I said, I have next to no groceries left, so <laughs> um, I'm just waiting a couple days and then I'm going to go shopping and buy a whole bunch of plant-based stuff. So for now, I've got my little pan and I'm going to have, I think, one, probably two of these um, they're higher in carbs. That'd be 40 grams of carbs, which is good. So I'm going to have maybe two of those. I got tomato sauce, my favorite Frank's red hot sauce, and then I've got Diana's barbecue sauce. I found some artichoke. So this is going to be an artichoke pizza, artichoke, tomatoes, onion, and garlic. And I think I have some spinach. Actually, I do. I have some spinach in somewhere in the freezer. Oh, I have broccoli too. Huh. I'm sorry for the beef. That was before I was plant-based. <laughs> and also Colin eats uh, beef. But I do have spinach nuggets. So maybe I can defrost a couple of those maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So I put them on 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and they're steaming away. Ow, Jesus. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I just totally just burnt myself on camera. Um, they are crispy and see the steam coming off them. So I'm just going to let them cool off a little bit before I eat them because I don't feel like burning myself. And yeah, yummy. Good morning guys. It is... 10:30, and I'm just having my breakfast now so I have a big bowl of fruit I have I have to go grocery shopping today so all I had was grapefruit and um, 
little clementines. So I have a whole grapefruit and clementines, and then I've got two, or two clementines. And then I have two Rivita crackers with almond butter. And I painted my nails pretty pink. Are they pretty? I did a little design on the thumb. But yeah, that is my carved up sugary lovely breakfast for this morning. Hey guys, so I just got back from the grocery store. I went to two places. I went to Walmart and I went to Zares. And I go to Walmart because they are really affordable and you can get a lot of stuff for your money. And then I have to go to Zares to get some of the specialty vegan foods, which I didn't, they're kind of more expensive. But this grocery trip I did is for two weeks. And I got, yeah, I got enough for two weeks and it'll last me even longer than that. And I spent $250. So I will show you guys what I got. So starting over here. Um, I've never had these before, but it's called the Happy Planet Extreme Fruit Smoothie um, Vitamin C. So it's got like three and a half apples, one and a half, whatever that orange thing is. I don't know what that is. One and a half <laughs> limes, I guess, and strawberries. So it's just like 100% natural. So I got that, and I think I have to let my puppy in one second. So then I got, I'm going to have one of these now. These are gluten frita <laughs> they're vegetarian dairy free burritos so I got two of those the other one's right there so I'm gonna have one of these now I think it's got uh, it's 200 calories 7 fat and yes it just looks really really good so I'm gonna have that I got two things of Ezekiel bread and I get the raisin cinnamon kind because it's my favorite I got some Earth Island cheddar style dairy free cheese and it's like 10 slices. This is expensive. Um, this was like $6 and you only get 10 slices or something like that, but it's worth it. So I got that. And then I picked up some squash. Oh no, sweet potatoes. Oh crap, I thought it was squash. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. So sweet potatoes that are already cooked up. I'm super excited about this. Um, Daya is one of my favorite. Um, vegan brands like when the last time I was vegan I ate this stuff a lot and this is a fire roasted vegetable pizza oh my god I might have this tonight just because I'm so excited I got some green beans these were nine dollars for almonds I was like oh my god <laughs> but um, they're super healthy for you so I can have this with my fruit so I got some almonds I got two things of cauliflower already cut up because I'm lazy I got this Vitality Mix that has cranberries, nuts, pumpkin seeds, um, almonds, walnuts, all that stuff. I got some chia seeds. I, got, I couldn't find coconut sugar, so I just settled for this liquid sweetener. Um, so, And I like these because you can take it like in your car with you. So if I get a drink from Tim's that's like just black, so no milk, I can put this in so it's sweet. I got two things of romaine lettuce. I got two packs of these Cliff Builder Bars, and they're in the flavor of chocolate, so I got two of those, and um, Cliff Bars are vegan, in case you're wondering. I got a whole thing of onions, because I'm obsessed with onions, like I love them. I got two things of dates, because I'm going to throw them into um, either smoothies, or um, I saw one fellow vegan, I forget her name, but um, she makes like a cookie dough for breakfast with this and oats. So I got two giant things of dates. I got one minute oats. This was $2.99 for this huge bag. So I got one minute oats. I got some, it says Thai, but it's literally just coconut milk. I got soy-free veganaise. So it's like, yeah, may mayonnaise, but vegan. I got peppers, I got gum. I got tomato sauce, I got chickpeas, and I've got like two more over there. I got carrots, I got pears, I got two of these granola clustered mixed berries because the Walmart that's closest to me doesn't have my favorite Jordan's muesli cereal, so I thought I'd give these a try. Uh, it only comes up to here, so that sucks, but whatever. I got two of those. I got a thing of limes, and then I got a shit ton, pardon my language, of um, vegan, like, meat. So I got, this is just a plain, or this is Italian um, veggie ground. So I got that. I got, these were my favorite um, veggie burgers. I got two of those. I got um, garden veggie crumble, which is the same as that one, just 
garden veggie. And then I just got one that's plain um, original veggie ground. And then I got these spicy Italian veggie sausages. I got a pineapple. I got avocados. I got bananas because I want to actually, like, I, I thought I was allergic to bananas, but I want to really make sure. So wish me luck on trying this, and hopefully I don't um, have, like, a reaction. But I'm going to try because, I don't know, I think maybe my stomach was just messed up and the banana just made it worse. But I don't know if I'm actually allergic, so I'm going to try. And then I got two more chickpeas. I got two things of blackberries, some sweet potatoes, and some um, cherry tomatoes. So, all of this food was $250. And it's going to last me a solid two weeks. Like, easy. So... Yeah, that is my grocery haul, and I'm so happy to be back to vegan, and it's actually cheaper. Like, other than, like, okay, if you buy the cheese and, you know, the veganaise and, like, you know, the little burritos and stuff like that, that and Ezekiel bread adds up because that stuff's expensive. But if you're on a budget and you just go to Walmart or whatever, like, this stuff was all super cheap. It was only, it was less expensive than if I bought meat and actual dairy, so, and I got more. So you just have to kind of be wise about what you spend. Like, the Cliff Bars, too, they're, like, 10 bucks each, so, you know, you don't have to buy that. I just could afford it, so I did. But um, it's definitely is cheaper being vegan than it is um, meat and dairy, so that's my grocery haul. So I'm currently having a gluten-free, it looks awful, but it tastes really good, um, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan burrito, and I'm having my Happy Planet Extreme C juice as a snack. Okay guys, so it is almost 5.30, and I'm going to have my lunch. So I just have the sweet potatoes that I bought already pre-chopped, and I have about three medium-sized red potatoes in here in the pan. And I have olive oil, rosemary, garlic, salt, and pink Himalayan salt. And I just want this for supper because I was craving fries because I saw um, Hot for Foods video on like a girls' night thing. And she had um, french fries and they had a like chipotle mayo so I'm gonna make chipotle mayo as well so I'm just gonna pop these in the oven it's set at 400 degrees I don't cover them because I prefer a little bit of crispiness so um, I'm just gonna put that in the oven like so and then I'll make my crispy mayo Alright guys, so that, it's actually a lot bigger of a bowl than it looks, <laughs> um, and I still have some left over, so if I'm hungry I'll more, I'll, or if I'm still hungry I'll grab some more. I'm going to have that, and my chipotle mayo, hashtag loving that I can have fries for dinner, and be skinny and healthy and good for the planet, yelp.